Well, hello, darlings, and welcome back. My name is Dardanita, and I do talk about lifestyle, travel, and fashion. And if this is your first time, welcome. And if not, well, welcome back. Well, today's video is all about getting you ready for the next spring and summer wedding that I know that you guys are going to attend. And I have some do's and some don'ts that can get you ready. And then I also have, may have some wardrobe pieces that you can look at as well. So if you're interested in uh, seeing what I have in store for you, make sure you stay tuned. Let's check out this outfit of the day. Now this outfit, I love it because of the great details that is in this dress. Um, I love it that it has all type of colors that is to it. A lot of weddings will be outside during the spring and summer, and then there will be some that will be inside. And I opted to wear a dress like this because of the long sleeves. So if I am going to be on an inside, if the wedding invite says it's in the inside wedding, this will be a perfect fit for the wedding now another thing in a wedding that you do not go overboard with being too revealing and with this dress i am not revealing too much i'm very simple but classy at the same time but I'm looking good. So that is some of the things that you do need to try to put into your mind when you are picking out your wardrobe to make sure that you do not overdress, that you're not being too revealing and that you are looking good. And you also notice that I have just a clutch. It is very, very important that you do not go into a wedding with a big suitcase, okay? You're not there to try to go to the reception and put all the food into your bag. You still want to have that less weight, lightweight about you when you go. So having a clutch will be the perfect accessory that you can wear with your outfit. When you get ready to go to that reception and you want to be dancing, you don't want nobody to be holding your purse for you. Put that purse over your, uh, a wrap around you as a body uh, purse and baby get to dancing on that dance floor. But enough of that we're gonna go more into detail about that and then you notice that i do have on some wedges something very simple again you don't need no high 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 heels on girls because you remember you're going to be wanting to dance when they do them line dances on the dance floor you want to be very comfortable and you do not want to be on no dance floor with your bare feet <laughs> no way that is a no-no so make sure your shoes are very comfortable don't wear flats if you can you know, you can muster that. Don't do that. But try to wear some wedges or some little low um, heels that makes you look the classy diva that you know that you are. All right, guys. All right, so I have my notes. I thought really hard about what the things that I could tell you about your do's and your don'ts. And so I hope that, you know, it comes out good but I think it's gonna come out great. So I do have some several do's and I do have some don'ts for you. And I think I would wanna start off with the don'ts uh, in a wedding or how to dress for a wedding. And the first don't is do not wear white. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people come into a wedding with their all white dress on, like they're pure and everything. That's for the bride, y'all, come on. The white is only specifically for the bride. Let's leave the white outfit at home, the pantsuit, the white dress. We are not there to upscale, to look better than the uh, bride. We're not there to let others think that I'm the next in line to be the bride. That's not what we're supposed to do. The goal is that we're supposed to be at a wedding to support the bride. And supporting the bride is not wearing the colors that she would wear, okay? Second um, don't is try not to wear revealing clothes. Yeah, I know, is that gonna be hard to do a need to know? Let's leave the stomach covered, the chest covered, my, my booty skin, you know, whatever it may be. Don't wear a dress that is very too revealing. That's a major no-no. Again, our goal is that we don't want all eyes on us. We want the eyes to be specifically for the bride for that particular day. Now, if you want to have that eye attention on you, let your beauty, let your face 
be the, th the first thing that people see when you walk into that building, into that wedding. Don't let it be what you have on. So again, remember, we're there to support the bride, not to outshine the bride. All right, number three, stay away from those loud colors. Oh my God, I went to a wedding and you guys, I saw somebody with a yellow dress. I just tweevered. That's the only thing I can think of when I saw her. We need to be able to find colors that is very soft and that's soft to the eye. And I'm look, talking about like some uh, light blue or um, some pretty red or even a black. Uh, they Those colors would be good to wear when you're going to a wedding. And remember, if you're trying to get all eyes on you, like I said before, let it be on the beauty. The fourth no-no. No, 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 no. Leave the big suitcases at home. I know you got this big bag. I just bought this big bag. I love this bag. It goes good with my outfit. No. Wear you the cutest little carrying uh, clutch. That is what you need because like I said before, you're going to want to get out on that dance floor. They're going to put on that uh, line dance song and you're going to want to get out there. And let's just say you are single and you're looking for someone to mingle with. You don't want to be toting no big bag with you. You want to be able to put that bag up, your little purse up under your arms or over your shoulders because you want to be without baggage. Remember, leave the suitcase at home and opt out to getting and carrying a pretty little clutch. The last darn that I thought of that I just say, no, 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 major no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Do not wear jeans to a wedding. Oh my goodness. I get it. Jeans is the most comfortable piece of clothing that you can wear. That's not for a wedding. I don't care if the wedding is outside. Leave the jeans in the closet. Your goal is that you're going to be that diva, but you're going to be looking good being that diva, but you're going to stay in your place. All right, so let's go into the do's of a wedding. There are so many options for us, of ladies, our the divas, <laughs> for us to look good when we're going to a wedding. And um, the options that I have for you, I think that they would just be the perfect um, outfit in material or thing that you can wear when you're going. Um, the first thing uh, is a floral, a thin material, um, pattern dress like the one that I have on and the one that I did show you like that on is it's very easy to the eye of the guests around you um, also it's bringing out your color and your tone um, if you are outside and it is hot the material is thin when it's very comfortable and loose the second dress uh, that I uh, think that would be perfect to wear at a wedding would be an asymmetric dress uh, it caters to all type of figures um, and it gives you the opportunity to show some of your curves, some of your nice parts of the body, but not all parts of the body if you get what I'm saying. Uh, asymmetric only caters to somewhat of the leg and the shoulder. So you're not revealing too much of the stomach, you're not going all the way up the thigh, it's just a length of a thigh. Uh, that you can show. It makes you look elegant, sexy, but presentable at the same time, if you get what I'm saying. So check out these pictures I have. I tell you, having this type of dress in your wardrobe, even if it's not at a wedding, would be a perfect uh, outfit if you're looking to show your body figure. You get it? All right. Number three, a long beaded dress. I recently wore a long beaded uh, dress to an elegant wedding, if you can see here. And I tell you, I received so many compliments on the dress. I did show a little of my legs, but I didn't show too much. I left the cleavless, uh, didn't show none of this. Um, I was presentable. I wasn't out of the ordinary with it. So wearing a beaded long dress would be a perfect outfit 
for an elegant uh, wedding or an evening wedding. I've noticed that a lot of um, weddings now are in the evening starting at 6 p.m. And that type of dress would be the perfect dress to wear. I will have all of that linked at the bottom for you, My, the, especially the one that I um, rec recently wore and then others that I feel that would be so cute um, when you go into a spring and summer wedding. The next one is an off-shoulder pantsuit. Now, I'm not saying that having your shoulders out is too revealing. That's not what I'm saying. Your shoulders are fine uh, to wear, um, but having that pantsuit um, would be so elegant for you, especially if you got a pantsuit that has like gold as the belt or some type of accessory to it that would bring that, that solid color out. And I know 80% of us probably have a black pantsuit in our closet. That would be perfect that you can wear. Try to find, if you don't like dresses, I get it. You want to be comfortable. You don't want to deal with the dresses, etc. Go get you an off-shoulder um, pantsuit. So the last uh, outfit that I think that would be so perfect in a wedding would be a pastel color dress have with some flowers on it have that little sheer in it i think these are some great dresses that you can also wear at a wedding especially if the wedding is outside um, these type of dresses it gives you that comfort of it's not too hot and you can not feel too heavy in wearing the dresses again like i say if it's an outside wedding this would be a perfect outfit to wear so guys, I hope that you liked something that I presented to you on today. And if you have stayed to the end, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and like, and don't forget to leave me a comment. Um, again, thank you guys so much. Let me know which outfit that you like the best. And send me, if you've been to any weddings, tell me what did you wear? What did I forget to mention um, in this message? But know that weddings are here. They're coming. It's spring and summer. And you're and your goal is that you want to be the diva that you are being the best that you can be but you're not going to outshine the bride so again thank you guys so much for staying to the end of the video and know that you are beautiful from head all the way down to your toes and that you are loved you're loved by me but most of all you are loved by god until the next video i see you soon bye bye